Welcome everyone. In this video lecture, we will solve a GATE 2024 EC question in which we have to solve a numerical based on the number system of base R. So the question is, in a number system of base R, the equation given x square minus 12x plus 37 equals to 0 has one of its solution or one of its roots x equals to 8. So the value of R. So in such problem, what we have to do? So the given is x square minus 12x plus 37 equals to 0. So here this one is a quadratic like that ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. Okay. So now what we are doing in this case the 12 the b this one b equals to minus 12 but we have to take 12 and we have to write it corresponding with base r so one can easily write this as a 1 into r to the power 1 plus 2 into r to the power 0 so this can be written as r plus 2 okay this 12 term okay now in addition to this 37 this 37 if this one is base r so one can write this as a 3 into r to the power 1 plus 7 into r to the power 0 equals to 3r plus 7. So this equation x square minus 12x plus 37 can be written as the this equation can be written as x square minus r plus 2 of x plus 3r plus 7 equals to 0. Here we are assuming the base is r. Okay. The system with base r. So this one is one equation. Now from this equation one can easily find the roots. For example, for this equation let there are two roots x1 and x2 are the two root okay or for more simplification we, we can take alpha 1 and alpha 2 okay it will be better to take this alpha 1 and alpha 2 with the two root okay so here one can easily write the sum of root alpha plus alpha 1 plus alpha 2 will be minus b by a so it should be r plus 2 by a okay so minus minus plus so simply this one is simple r plus 2 and the product alpha 1 into alpha 2 equals to c by a means 3r plus 7 by 1 equals to 3r plus 7 so from this we can find this one very easily okay in addition to that it is also given in the question that one of its roots uh, in the question one of the root one of the root is given that is our say alpha 1 equals to 8 or here it is written x equals to 8 so I am writing x1 equals to 8 and alpha 2 is somehow unknown so I am just taking that alpha 2 so one can write x minus alpha 1 and x minus alpha 2 will be our simply 0 2 roots so x equals to alpha 1 or simply one can write x minus 8 if you put alpha 1 8 then x minus alpha 2 equals to 0 so if we solve this one then again it will give a equation like this x square minus x alpha 2 minus 8x plus 8 alpha 2 equals to 0 so x square if you take minus x common alpha 2 plus 8 8 alpha 2 same equation when the root is given when the root is given okay when the root is given one can also write now say this one is equation number a equation number b okay 
now again one can also write the alpha 1 plus alpha 2 will be what simply minus p by a so one can write alpha 2 plus 8 by 1 so directly i am writing minus p so alpha 2 plus 8 okay and the product alpha 1 into alpha 2 now again it will give one equation like this one is 8 alpha 2 by 1 so it simply it will be 8 alpha 2 plus 8 and so this one is a c equation number c and equation number d so now one can also do equation a is same as equation c because alpha 1 plus alpha 2 same root so r plus 2 is nothing but simply alpha 2 plus 8 so from here we can write r minus alpha 2 the base r and one of the root is alpha 2 equals to 6 say equation number say anything we can say say e e f anything we can write and one more thing now equation number b is same as that of d that's why two one roots are there so from there from these two equation we can find the roots product of the roots some of the roots and we have to equate so now this should be 3r plus 7 from b is same as that of 8 alpha 2 so 3r minus 8 alpha 2 equals to minus 7 so equation number f anything we can take e okay so this one is just okay i am this one is by equating equation number a with c okay then after equation b and d b and d the product okay so now these two are the equation r minus alpha 2 equals 6 and 3r minus 8 alpha 2 so now we have to find the base we are interested in the base of the system not the another root another root we can also find but base so what we can do in equation 8 oh sorry in equation e 2 unknown r alpha 2 r alpha 2 now we can use so equation e into 8 minus equation f if you subtract it will give the value of r so 8 r minus 8 alpha 2 equals to 8 into 6 48 okay equation e into 8 then 3 r minus 8 alpha 2 minus 7 and we have to subtract so it should be plus plus minus so it should be 5 r equals to 55 so r value equals 55 by 5 so 11 so r equals to 11 so the base of the question will be r equals to 11 so this is the way to find the simple concept is that we have to find the product of root sum of root and we have to convert this 12 r this so this one is the solution so we have to very careful about uh, okay we have to very careful about this equation first first thing is that we have to write this equation this equation okay then after we have to put in this equation then after we have to write this product product uh, sorry sum first then 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 after alpha into alpha 2 then one root is given one root is given so again we have to write the equation x minus alpha 1 x minus alpha 2 then we have to write in this final form then the same these two equation will come as direction okay cd then here we have to equate to unknown to variable then after solving we can easily write the base so base of the system will be 11 so if we put 11 here for example just for the so answer will be first 11 i am writing here yeah, the answer will be 11 okay
so the equation will be x square minus 13x plus 11 into 3 33 40 40 equals to 0 so it should be our x square minus okay so then 40 one can write it 8x minus 5x plus 40 equals to 0 x minus 8 x so x minus 8 x minus 5 one of the root is given 8 now so it is coming 5 is also if we solve this equation alpha 2 will be about 5 so this one is the way to solve any type of problem based on this base or system so this is the way to find this the base value so thank you for watching this video